I'm Freek van Ede. I'm a co-director of the Postgraduate Affairs Committee, and we deal with, um, you know, admissions of, um, you know, postgraduate students. We select the PhD students for the Biomedical Science Department. If you want to do a PhD, uh, I think one of the best places to look is uh, findaphd.com. Uh, we post all our uh, adverts over there. Um, but of course you can also go via the Faculty of Science Grad School. We are part of the Faculty of Science Grad School. In general, uh, the, the projects are posted, so you select a project that interests you. Occasionally people make their own proposals, but this is often in the light that when they have um, their identified their own funding. Then you can of course demand more um, you know, from, from the department and say this is the project I would love to do. Um, but in general if the supervisor provides the money then the project will be set to what the supervisor um, wants to do. It's always online nowadays and that's why it's good to go the, to these particular websites. It goes all through, the central, uh, through a central system in the university. So everybody goes through that and that makes things clear for us and also for the student, I think. You need at least two references. You need your, uh, your grades, of course, your, your, you know, your university or certificates that you have. Um, if you're from abroad and English is not your first language, you will also need to provide some, um, you know, proof that your your English at, is at an appropriate level, and the precise levels are also specified on the on the application website. You need to do a personal statement or sometimes project proposal. Um, that is, uh, if you're in a, in a competitive round where we provide a limited amount of funding then it's usually you need to do, uh, that you need to do a personal statement of why you want to do a PhD. It's usually there is the funding and then you have to apply and you have to be selected. Our main uh, recruitment round usually um, you know, falls around the end of the year. That means that you have to have your application in probably around the end of November, beginning of December. Then we go through a pre-selection where, um, where the supervisors, uh, you know, nominate two of their best applicants for a project. And then across the department, all the projects, um, we, 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 we put all the, the students together. And not every project gets a student. It's really a, a competitive process. So the best students get selected and they then get allocated to the project they chose. So if we have 10 supervisors who want a PhD student, it can happen that only five of them actually get them because we only have funding for five positions. It's always via an interview. Um, we strongly prefer personal interviews, but if there are overseas candidates, then um, it can often uh, it, 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 or it, it can happen that we do a Skype interview. This personal interview will consist of um, you know, a real interview, but also we would like to have the, uh, the, the applicant do a presentation because a presentation is an excellent way of seeing what the person has done and also whether they, you know, whether they were simply executing the work or whether they actually understood and did a lot of, you know, really had to have the understanding that we need for a good PhD student. simple things, everything needs to be complete, we need to have all the references there. If you want to get in interviews, what you need is good marks, that's the one thing and unfortunately it's true, you know, we, we have many, many applicants. Another thing is um, references, references are very, very important. If the reference, uh, you know, is, is not good, then, uh, you know, it, it will be more difficult. Um, another very important thing is lab experience. We really like to have people who have been in the lab and know what it's about because that is so important. People, some people can be very good theoretically, but when they, when they arrive in the lab they don't have the right frame of mind to do experiments and, and that is an, another very important criterion. The personal statement, in a way, I find it important, but it's more, you know, it's, it's more of a breaker than a maker. But it has to be, you know, if you write a very bad one, of course, 
it will act against you, but it's not something that can really make you in the application. Maybe, you know, if, if, you, if you have so, a real field of interest, it, it is good to get to know the person you are applying to. So if you have the time, I cannot promise that, you know, somebody who, who, you know, who gives out a PhD position will respond because people are very busy and they often get a lot of these emails, but it is sometimes good to really go up to a person and talk with them personally to kind of introduce yourself and to get to know the person. Um, that might, might help in the, in the application process as well.